Hey guys, this week we're back from vacation and we are talking all about the new t-shirt shipments and about our new Friday favorite segment. All while having a whole lot of fun. Hi, welcome back to another edition of As Good As It Gets. I'm Chris. And I'm Mikey. And this is a weekly chat from our kitchen where we answer your questions. Well, except for today because of technical difficulties, which we'll talk about in a minute. But we're still going to have some fun. Yes, and we are back from vacation. Yes, we are. We had a great time down in clear water. Yes. Down there in the Gulf. The Gulf of Mexico. Yes. And it was awesome. We had a good time. Me and Miss Ad swam a lot. I swear I couldn't keep that kid out of the water, whether it was the pool or the ocean. If you saw our vlog yesterday, uh, or fr um, Friday, for those of y'all who see this on Sunday or whenever, but uh, if you saw our vlog, it was mostly just me and Ad swimming because that's what we did the entire time. We either jumped in the ocean and kind of dug up some seashells in, the, in the, the water, or if we jumped in the pool and just kind of floated around, we had a really, really good time. Yes. Got to play with the new camera, which was kind of fun. I almost lost it. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you saw it. One of them little, it's a it's a knockoff GoPro, little bitty little bitty camera, and I had a headband for it. Where I could put strap it onto my head. We have a picture of that. Yeah, yeah, there it is. And uh, um, I was swimming around, and I thought, well, I'll do some dive shots where I would jump up and then go down into the water and go down to the bottom of the the ocean there and then come back up. And I did that right into a wave, and the wave knocked the camera off my head. And so I spent the next few seconds frantically swimming around trying to find my brand new camera. Going, she's gonna kill me, she's gonna yes. kill me, she's gonna kill me. And the worst part about it, I forgot to hit record. So I'm wearing this thing looking like an idiot in the middle of the Gulf, and <laughs> I go back to the shore because I figured it was time to put up the new toy before I lost it again, and there were the birds. I don't know if you saw from one of our previous vlogs, there's birds all around, the gulls, and I don't know what all the different names of the birds are, but I was chasing them <laughs> across the beach with this camera, so it looked like I had all you, all you see was my hands reaching out and chasing the birds, and the people around me were all laughing and shaking their heads like, "Who well, is this?" Idiot? I think there was a group of people that didn't realize he was running with his hands out at the birds, and <laughs> they thought, thought I was going he was it. running towards them, and I was watching the whole thing, going, "Oh my goodness!" Oh. I'm gonna get us kicked off the beach. <sighs> and I go back to the room to upload all the different footage and stuff, and I forgot to hit record, so. That was all for naught, but there was another time where we went out in the, in the water and I got to record it, so I got to do some cool footage with that. Yes. Lots of time relaxing, lots of yummy food, and we had a really good time. Yeah, like here's some pics of the food we had. Um, here is what we have. We had shrimp po' boys. That's one of my favorite things. And I had some lobster tacos. And yes. then we also had some shrimp and grits, which is a southern staple, and it was fantastic. And then we had alligator ribs now alligator tail everybody's gonna tout you know every restaurant anywhere down south or actually anywhere now is gonna say oh we've got the best fried gator tail in all the land and it's kind of weird because we can get alligator tail now in Indiana at our local IGA like little bitty grocery store yeah and they have alligator tail but I've never seen any place that cooked alligator ribs and those things were huge I would have hated to been the guy that had to catch that alligator because it was gargantuous. You had a picture of Addie doing that. And then one night she took a crack at crab. Yeah. And she just she loved she the did crab. really great. It was just a fun time. And then she had uh, raw oysters and that didn't go so well. So <laughs> Now, make sure that you hang out on this video until the very, very, very end. And there's a crock posse shout out to Debbie who also was on vacation. Mm -hmm. And she took her crock posse shirt and her crock pot. So... Um, we want to make sure that you guys see that from Debbie, and that, that's at the end. Proud but, of you, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Way to sport the posse as well as go cook on vacation. Yes, yes, yes. Well, and so other updates that we have. Um, I did, while we were on vacation, get notification that the new t-shirts, if you remember them, they look like this. Um, are starting to ship out. I think they ship out every three days. Mm -hmm. So whenever you order. So those of you that ordered in the first batch should probably be getting them very soon. We're looking out our window right now waiting for the yes, mail to show we up. Were hoping, so cool. Yeah, we were hoping uh, she would show up so that we could um, show the new shirts on here. But we haven't seen her yet. Yep. Uh, but if you do get your new crock posse wear 
um, or mug or sticker or whatever. We'd love to have a picture. So send us a picture to Chris at RecipesThatCrock.com. You'll see it come across here. Mm -hmm. Or Mikey at RecipesThatCrock.com. It comes across right here. Yes. And then we'll do a Crock Posse shout out to you. Absolutely. So, so we'd love to do that. Um, also, while we were on vacation, Mikey was testing our internet um, uh, connection down there, which was really good, by yeah. the way. Like, usually we go to hotels, and the Wi-Fi is not good at all. And the Hyatt down there, where we they stayed, did really good. had fantastic yes. Wi-Fi. And so much so that we were able to do the Church Song Sunday from down there. And the only way I knew how to test it was I had to go live. And I'm like, what am I going to do? So I grabbed my little pink guitar. And uh, for those of y'all that uh, stayed up with me, it was around midnight or so yeah. down in Florida when uh, I put this up. But I had to test it out real quick because I had to see if I was even going to be able to do the church on Sunday the next day. So um, thank you all who stayed up with me and hung out with me. And uh, I even got a couple suggestions from friends that said, you know, you should, you should just sing some really soft songs and sing us to sleep sometime on YouTube. So... I don't know, maybe. Yeah, um, he might be hopping on live a little bit more. This we'll is see. why if you are a subscriber and you don't get the notifications of when we do it, maybe you should because when I go live or anytime there's a video that will come up, um, you'll get a notification. You get an email that says, hey, Mikey's got a new video up. And it's the bell yeah, on the, the channel. Bell. Like you have to click the bell mm -hmm. and say get notifications and then it will like ping you and tell yep. you and then if I go live you'll get an email that says hey Mikey's gonna go live and it could be anything I mean it could be it'll probably be me and a little guitar or something if I see something worthy of it being live right then you know I want y'all to be able to hang out with us and check it out so um, maybe we'll do that I don't know if we'll do like a we were talking about that we're gonna do a schedule is it just gonna be something impromptu you know narcolepsy or not oh. narcolepsy what is it uh, what's the word insomnia we, insomnia with, <laughs> with Mikey yeah, no, I think probably at this point, because we really stink at schedules, which we discussed last week, mm -hmm. we're probably going to go impromptu for now, and then yeah. if it catches a rhythm, then maybe, because yeah. he's still doing his full-time job, uh, and I'm still doing my full-time mm -hmm. job, and I'm currently doing it without a computer. <laughs> which is the next thing we want to yes, talk Yes, we were supposed to talk about uh, reader emails like we do every week. Well, I have everything organized, particularly when I try and go on vacation, so that that it all goes into a folder and I can organize everything um, for these weekly chats and um, while we were on vacation my comp my brand new computer you know the one that I bought just a few weeks ago um, three weeks ago to be exact uh, oh the mailman is here but they didn't uh, stop by the door oh uh, so that probably means that that's what that means you hear that yeah what did I call that the last time you laughed at me? Tinkle. The tinkled. The, the tinkle came, but we don't have any shirts because they didn't come. <laughs> okay. Anywho. Um, no, so we were on vacation and my brand new computer that was the replacement for my tried and true computer that just completely just threw its hands up at me a couple weeks ago and reeked Let's face it up. It. When she uses a computer, she uses it until it blows up and it just went... <laughs> Yes, and so um, I have this brand new computer and all of a sudden it's having both hardware issues and software issues. I had to do a factory reset while Did on she vacation. mention that this thing was three weeks old? Yes, yes. So when I get home, I go to the store to say, dude, this is not even a month old and it's got issues. I love it, but it's got issues. Well... They weren't really all that helpful or great about it, and so they won't replace it. Instead, they're going to send it off under manufacturer's warranty or something. It's just completely frustrating and ridiculous, and the level of customer service was just very disappointing. Yep. And so now... I'm in the middle of trying to figure out how we're going to operate everything, which will be fine. Don't worry about that. But in the process of all of that, it was either we don't have reader emails today or we don't have a show. So We have to have a show. We decided to go ahead and have a show and just not have reader emails. And I will have something figured out before next week um, about how to get all get myself situated so things can be fixed. So instead of doing reader emails, we just thought we'd have a chat with you, a little, little back and forth, or a little forth, not so much back until we see your comments, but yes. hey, what'd you Which do for Which we very the, much enjoy. Yeah, <laughs> what, what'd you do for the holidays? What'd you do for the, the May 4th? May the 4th be with you. Do, do all of you celebrate Star Wars Day? Um, <laughs> we don't. We have a lot of friends that do, like hardcore. Um, 
Do, did you did you do anything? For we Cinco? left Star Wars. We did just, you do anything for Cinco de Mayo? Did you celebrate and go we out? We like guacamole. Yeah, yeah. So we like guacamole, so we're going to celebrate Cinco de Mayo later and probably go out to dinner at a Mexican restaurant because we love Mexican food, especially guacamole. Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. so you also um, this week did some, which they won't see for a while, but you did some taping with Aunt Lou. Yeah, we did a show with Aunt Lou. Um, actually, yesterday, which would be May the fourth. Uh, Star Wars Day is also her husband Michael's birthday. So if y'all in the comments down below say happy birthday, Michael. Yes. Not Mikey. It's not my birthday. We'll celebrate that in June. Don't worry. There will be a party and y'all are invited. let you know. Yeah. It's my birthday. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> Yesterday was Michael's birthday, so Aunt Lou came up and we made some happy birthday baby cakes. <laughs> Just little bitty pudding cakes um, using a good I was not recipe. present. <laughs> Let's just say when you do see it, there was a mess. Yes. Uh, there yes. was a food fight. But I got assured that it got cleaned up in text messages and everything else because yeah. I was at the store fighting, fighting with customer with, service. Yeah, yes. yeah. It wasn't so, our. Uh, it, was, it wasn't something. Well, we'll and let's do just again. talk about this weather. We went from beautiful uh, Florida weather, and today it is 44 and raining in Indiana. <laughs> and it's been raining every day for the past yes. week. Uh, yes. There, I think they had sunshine on. Monday for a minute and then it's been raining ever since and I mean I had projects I wanted to do I had outdoor projects that I I was dead set on doing when I came back home I was gonna tear up floorboards on a deck and replace some floorboards and I can't because nope. I don't have a boat <laughs> to get to the deck it is quite wet it's horrible oh wet. we missed something on the agenda here oh, yes. so instead of reader emails we we can talk about something that's going on on the blog really quickly um those of you that have get the newsletter or regularly come to the website on Wednesdays you might um, know that we usually do a crock pot party with all of our blogging friends called mm -hmm. Watch a Crockin. Well we have put that on pause for the summer and we're talking about bringing it back in the fall but in the meantime Aunt Lou and I've been really talking about what can we do to feature both recipes from our site but then also introduce you to other great sites that have great slow cooker recipes and so every Friday now, we are going to start having Friday favorites. And what it's going to be is around a theme. So like yesterday, it was um, Crock-Pot Dump Cake Recipes Friday Favorites. And so what you'll get, typically it'll be five. It'll be probably three from Recipes at Crock, and then we'll feature two other bloggers' recipes for you to go check out. And so Aunt Lou put together a wonderful post that has all kinds of different flavors. So you've got apple and peach and I think cherry. Cherry and white chocolate. Yes, and, and I think there's a strawberry mm -hmm. one in there and an apple one. So like you could find, you definitely can find something that you like and it's all, yesterday was all about dump cakes. So that's something we're gonna, and we'll probably talk about it in the show each week. That was week. the one with Brandy and Sarah. Uh-huh, we, we featured um, the Country Cook and then also Magical Slow Cooker, which Hi, are- Hi, Brandy. And Sarah. Hi, Sarah. They're both really good friends of mine, and yep. so they've got really awesome recipes. So, um, so anyhow, I wanted to mention that, so if you saw that little shift, if you get the newsletter, you'll see that in the newsletter as well. How are we going to transition? I think that we should do it by giving the whole kit a caboodle. That's right. This is my own, very own caboodle. It's all his. My sister-in-law, when she came up, she says, Mikey, I have a present for you. Uh, because she goes into our spare bathroom and all my beard stuff is down there. My beard oils, my beard waxes, my mustache waxes. His beard beauty product. That's what she calls them. Hey. Circle City Beard Company does a great job and we love them very much. And they do not sponsor this video. No, but I sponsor them by buying a lot of their stuff, which reminds me, I've got to get some new beard wash. Oh my goodness. But Lou's like, you know, you got this stuff scattered all over the bathroom, so she gave me my own little caboodle. I've never had a caboodle before. I think as a feller, we call this a tackle box, a paint tackle box. So I'll be happy to uh, put my stuff in my little... Careful. My little caboodle. Oh yes, I could put a fishing hooks right there. I could put my spinner bait right yeah, there. Yeah, you're not. <gasps> There's a mirror. <laughs> For your beard beauty products. Okay, how about the menu? Oh yeah, that's that too. Okay, so what are we having for the menu this week? Already for the snack, we have a massive reader favorite, um, bacon cheeseburger dip. So this is one of the most popular recipes on our website of all time. I took it into work one day and I didn't get any. Because my coworkers <laughs> got wind of it and they ate it before I could even get up from my desk. 
Alrighty, well on Sunday we have a breakfast that is from Aunt Lou and her reg Aunt Lou's the queen of the breakfast casseroles. She does the potato recipes and she does a lot of egg casseroles. Mm -hmm. And so she's got the savory breakfast casserole for us, for our breakfast. And then on Monday we have my French dip pork made with a very special ingredient. Pop quiz, do you know what it is? Pork! Nope. Yeah it is. Think about it. French dip pork. You've made it on Cooking Chris's Dishes before. It's been on, there's like over a hundred shows. It's made with a strange ingredient. When I first put it in, you said, oh, that's going to make that a weird <gasps> color. That's because I don't call it French dip pork. I call it the Big Red pork. That's right. <laughs> we use Big Red, which is like a regional soda. It's like a red cream soda in it. But trust us, it makes it taste really good. So if you can get Big Red. Yeah, you can use root beer if you want, but we prefer to use Big Red in ours. Okay. So we have our French dip pork with cheesy ranch potatoes. And then on Tuesday, we have Aunt Lou's cheesy chicken penne. 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 You can always be I counted penne. on. I yes. On Wednesday, it's leftover day, or you can go with our cheesy cauliflower soup, which is something just a little bit different. If you like broccoli and cheese soup, mm -hmm. you're going to like the cauliflower soup, most likely. On Thursday is one of my personal favorites, which is Taco Joe's. We know, most people do Taco Tuesdays. We usually do Taco Thursdays. <laughs> I get it all mixed up sometimes when I'm drawing it out. And so Taco Joe's is a, a spin-off of Tacos and Sloppy Joe's. Kind of, it's kind of a combo. We love it. We eat them open face with mm -hmm. a fork. So, Friday, we have another big reader favorites. We're making our hot dogs in the crock pot and then we're serving it with the a crock pot chili cheese sauce. Which is delicious. Yum, Absolutely. yum, yum. So, and then our dessert for the week is mixed berry cobbler. Which is another another favorite around yes. here. We love the mixed berries. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm a big cobbler fan. So that is our menu for the week. So now it is time again to say goodbye. We're coming back from vacation next week. We'll have some more content. We'll have another quickie. We'll have a cook and Chris's dishes. Church song Sunday. Yes. On Sunday at uh -huh. 2 p.m. Don't miss daylight, it. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. And join us in the chat as well because it's really fun. We're getting a lot of people who like to chat it up in there. And like we'll watch after the. The video closes down, people are still chatting and talking from there. Yeah. We love that. It's like coming over for a Sunday afternoon tea. Alrighty, guys. We will see you next week. Send us your questions. Send us your comments. Bye. Bye. No, we won't do that. Just, Just let's right there. Yeah. <laughs> that sounded bad. Quit. Stop it. I can't see anything. It's all spots. <laughs> Have you seen a doctor? <laughs> no, just spots. <laughs> Are you bit of that. Ready? Really? <laughs> Our new Friday favorite segment. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with a spoon. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Do it! Not that! <laughs> Crock Posse shout out! <laughs> <laughs>